Hi, I'm Simon. I'm going to be talking about using a Steam controller as an editing device. So, uh, the Steam controller is designed for playing games, any kind of game, but you can heavily customize it. And what I've done is actually customize it for use in a video editor. In this case, I'm using HitFilm 4 Pro. So, you can see this setup that I've got here. I've customized the whole thing to work with common editing functions. So here we have a fairly standard timeline, and um, what's kind of interesting is that this pad on the left, both of these are touch pads here, if you're not familiar with the Steam controller, and if I rotate my finger around here, you can see that I start kind of scrubbing through the playhead, and uh, I can go frame by frame, very accurately, backwards or forwards, um, or I can move a lot faster. Um, if I actually spin my finger on it, you can see it moves several frames at a time, uh, as if it's actually a physical device that I'm spinning around. Uh, yeah, so here we go, you can see it in action here. And uh, all this is doing is the, the input on the Steam controller is sending the standard frame backwards and forwards commands to hit film, but because it's simulating this analog surface here, it feels a lot more like using a physical controller. Uh, like a kind of jog shuttle control. Um, has a nice analog feel to it. And you can also do playback. So on this stick here, which in a game you would usually use to move around, uh, if I just nudge it to the right, it plays back at normal speed. Uh, if I press it again, it plays back at double speed. Uh, I can press A to start and stop playback. Or if I go the other way, it will play in reverse. Okay, so you can actually edit it with it as well. Uh, I want to note is that I can use the right pad as a mouse. Uh, so something this has over using something like a contour controller, where you'd be using that in combination with a mouse and maybe even a keyboard. Uh, with this, this actually simulates a load of keys and does the kind of jog shuttle thing and you still have access to a mouse. Uh, so over here my media browser, maybe I'll come in and grab a video find a, a new bit that we want be about here and then I can just press up go forward a bit find the bit that we want that's going quicker that's good, pull down and we've defined our in and out area then uh, I use the shoulder buttons up here we can jump through the edits to wherever we want to go so let's say about here ok there we go um, what else can we do? Well, we can copy and paste things, so if we select this, we can very easily just press X to copy, and then go somewhere else and press B to paste it in. Uh, if I do something I don't like, I can use a modifier underneath here, hold that down, and now doing left and right actually undoes, 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 goes back through the history panel, and uh, going the other way uh, does the redo, so that's a nice undo redo there. We can change editing tool again if I use that modifier underneath. The right pad stops being a mouse and instead changes to cycling through my editing tools. You can see on the timeline those editing tools are cycling through just as I rotate around here, as if I'm going through a scroll wheel. Um, this is actually something you couldn't really do with just a standard mouse while using HitFilm. You'd have to use keyboard shortcuts or actually go over and click on these things, but instead I can just cycle through them as and when. It's not to be underestimated that the mouse is fully functional and the Steam controller is actually really accurate for doing work with the mouse, so it's very easy to come in and drag things around and do all the things you'd normally expect to be able to do with a mouse. Um, so this is kind of a, a setup for editing. If I hit the start button over here, it will save my project. Um, I haven't really got into doing anything for composite shots yet, but one thing that's interesting that I'm currently dabbling with is that if I head over into this comp where I just have a 3D model already imported, if I come in here and actually click down on the mouse button, it stops being a mouse and it activates the gyro. So as I use the gyro in the controller, I'm actually orbiting around this model, which gives it again this really nice analog feel to what I'm doing. It's very precise and it gives you a real sense of feedback in what you're doing. Uh, it feels a lot more tactile. Obviously I need to do some more work to figure out how to make it useful for actually compositing, but it's already pretty good for doing an edit. Um, so I'm going to share this 
uh, once I've done a bit more work on it, so that anyone can download this and use a Steam controller in combination with it film. Obviously, you could customize this to your own preferred options uh, and make it work in any kind of software you want. Okay, thank you for watching.